We're going to demonstrate some basic suturing on this model. And to start with, we're going to demonstrate infiltration of the wound. We would do this with um, lidocaine, 1%. And I'm going to use an orange needle because this gives us the finest amount of um, liquid into the wound. I'm going to start at this end. I'm going to go into the wound, go to about a 45 degree angle. We always withdraw to make sure there's no blood. And then we are going to push the plunger and withdraw the needle as we are infiltrating. As you can see here, you have a little bleb where the anesthesia has gone into the wound. You keep repeating this until you have the whole of the wound anaesthetized. And obviously you need to do this on both sides. It's not too important you get either end of the wound infiltrated because you don't usually put a suture there. Now we're going to look at the equipment we're going to use. For this sort of wound closure, I'm going to use an ethylon, which is a non-absorbable suture, a monofilament. And you can see how the end of the needle projects through the packaging there, and that's so it's easy access to grab. The suture kit itself should have a needle holder, a pair of toothed forceps and a pair of non-toothed forceps and a pair of scissors to cut. The needle holder should be held between your thumb and middle finger with your index finger free to guide. So we're going to pick up the ethylon and I'm going to get hold of the end of the needle with the end of the suture holder. So it should be at a 45 degree angle, so near to the very end and near to end the end of the actual needle itself, but not right on the join where the thread comes out because this is quite a weak area. We're going to use our toothed forceps and we are going to lift the skin up And we're going to put the needle at a 45 degree angle and go into the skin, letting the natural curvature of the needle guide us through. We're then going to use the non-toothed to help us pull this through on this side. And again, we're going to then reholder the actual thread itself. I'm going to bring that through so we don't have so much thread on this side. And again, I'm going to use the toothed forceps so you can see exactly where you're going in. This way you can see the base of the wound. And again, we're going at 45 degree, but again, this time we're going into the wound. And again, let the natural curve of the needle bring us out the other side. I'm going to bring this through. So now we have the suture through, we need to tie the knot. And it's easy to do about four knots here and we start off by doing a double knot, so we're going to go wind around the needle holder, grab hold of the end of the suture and pull. We're going to go once around, grab the end of the thread and pull in the opposite direction. And the last one, once around again, grab the end and pull. We're then going to trim and that is your interrupted suture which has been put into the middle of the wound.